Begin on an angle. Maintain a good height. Pour with confidence. Today we're going to learn how to pour this, or at least get pretty close to it using that mantra. And this pattern is what is referred to as a monk's head, or a butt. I hope I don't get censored for that one. Actually, I do say butt all the time. However, this dot is the simplest form of latte art that if you get good at pouring this, it's gonna pave that way for incremental adjustments in how you pour with the jug in order to create those more intricate and exciting patterns where you'll wanna do. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's make latte art. Now, for those of you who are new to this channel, there are multiple videos up at this point where we learn how to set our machine up, what cups to use, what milk jugs to use, and how to steam our milk. We're gonna blow past all of that today to get to putting our paint on the canvas. The paint being the milk that we use and the canvas being the espresso. And the first position in pouring latte art is beginning on an angle. So the cup with the espresso is going to be tilted at a 45 degree angle towards the milk jug. And this is done for a few reasons. One, so we can increase the depth of the espresso in the bottom of the cup. And why do we wanna do that? It's so we can pour the milk straight under the espresso to begin with, sort of like diving the milk into the coffee without a splash. And with the cup on an angle later on in the pour, it'll allow us to get the jug spout closer to the surface of the coffee without having to tilt the jug at an aggressive angle, which you would understand would make the milk flow out of the jug faster. And we don't want that to happen too soon. And this brings us to our next position, which is maintaining a good height with our milk jug. So we won't begin to pour too high, as this will create a splash in the coffee. And if we pour too low, then we will wash out that pattern too soon, and we won't be diving the milk under the espresso to begin with, which is what we're aiming to do. So it's about seven to 10 centimeters above the surface of the coffee that is a comfortable height to begin pouring from. So you see, we're aiming to first incorporate the milk with the espresso in a way that they both become the same color and consistency. However, it is a very gradual and gentle way of combining the two liquids. If done too fast, it is a mess. And if done too slowly, then you're probably barely pouring milk from your jug and this will create a splash as well. So this mixing in phase, it doesn't need to be rapid circles or fast pouring, but a steady consistent flow will help a lot. And this is where confidence comes in. And it will take some practice to discover the muscle memory that allows you to pour a steady, consistent stream into the espresso so that it is diving under the espresso and not splashing or washing out the coffee altogether. And honestly, latte art, it's not going to come without practice. However, you can fake confidence in your pour by not stiffening up, letting yourself loose at the shoulders, but controlled in your wrists. And then, as we've spoken about, tilt the cup, raise the jug at a reasonable angle, and pour like you've done a thousand times before. And what do we do now? Maintain the height with the jug and keep pouring a nice steady stream to fill the cup up about three quarters of the way to the top. However, don't be caught out not adjusting the tilt of that cup ever so slightly backwards as the cup begins to fill up. And this will, again, form part of muscle memory over time. You want it to be a steady, gradual tilt back and not a staggered, jagged tilt as this will upset the volume of the liquid in the cup. And as you near to filling it up, and perhaps sooner rather than later, with the spout of that milk jug directly over the middle of the cup, drop the jug down so the spout is almost touching with the surface of the coffee, and then tilt your jug towards the cup, and this will increase the flow of the milk coming out of the jug. And by having that paintbrush, the spout of the milk jug, close to your canvas, which is the coffee, you begin to draw and create your pattern. When you fill the cup up, raise the spout of the milk jug, and admire your work. Now, it may or may not look like what you wish it to be, but anything that resembles a dot is going to be a great start. Never let one go to waste. Ooh. And from the top one more time, angle the cup so there is a deep end in the espresso and you can access the surface of the coffee easier. Maintain a good height with your milk jug as you begin to pour, and then pour confidently into the middle of the espresso, maintaining that height. Till the cup begins to fill up, and then drop the jug down and tilt the milk jug in to pour your pattern. 
pull back and stop when the cup is full, and then you're done. Now there is a lot going on here, even in that small amount of time and effort it is to pour a monk's head. And from here, it's really only one step away from pouring a beautiful love heart. However, you will see huge benefits from perfecting the monk's head before moving on. So when we come back to keep this series going, we are going to work on where we can identify where we may be going wrong through using six degrees of movement, which are tilt, aim, raising, rolling, and the X and Y position before we move on to other patterns. I can't wait for that one. Thanks for watching to the end of this latte art video, and we'll see you in the next one.